Hey guys, wanted to show off my compressor setup, kind of. This is going to be a terrible quality video, but um, hopefully it'll give you an idea of what's going on here. Um, so this is a, this guy here, is just a regular old fridge compressor. Let's see if I can turn him a little bit here for you. Just a regular old fridge compressor. This is actually one of the two that I had in series on the the board with the fan on it uh, if you've seen my previous high pressure air compressor video um, this compressor by itself um, and even in series with the other one um, because it was in series it was just twice as quick it had twice the volume output um, but this compressor and the other one by itself most I've found most fridge compressors um, will pump up to about 300 to just under 400 psi um, this one was, this one was about at 340, the other one I had, which does not like, no fridge compressors like starting in cold environments, um, and by cold I mean like 40 degrees Fahrenheit, they, they don't like to, to start, uh, compressing, I'm not sure why that is, but, um, that one was like 50 degrees, this one, it's 27 degrees out in the garage right now, and this one will run just fine. Um, so I have this one hooked up, uh, I've got a couple fittings here, I'll show them to you real quick. We've got a, uh, this is the output for the compressor, this is a quarter inch NPT compression fitting to a uh, quarter inch female, then we've got uh, male to male coupling to a standard uh, compressor quick disconnect. Uh, to another standard compressor quick disconnect to a, another quarter inch NPT um, and then to a quarter inch compression fitting going to some uh, 1300 PSI or 18, I don't remember off the top of my head, it's either 13 or 1800 PSI um, brake line is actually what it is um, and then that goes up and around and it comes over to my CO2 tank here. Um, what else I have going on here, uh, this, like I said, this, if you've seen my, one of my previous videos, I said that this compressor will do 600 PSI plus. Uh, so the way that I have it doing that is right here, with this yellow hose going into it. Um, I'll try and spin this guy around again and we can get a, hopefully we can get a view of this. Uh, sorry about how dark it is. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Uh, that is a, I believe that's a 3 8 inch compression fitting on the suction or input side of the compressor going to a uh, 3 8 NPT male. That goes to a 3 8 NPT um, quick disconnect fitting. And then it goes to a standard compressor quick disconnect to the hose, follow the hose down, sorry about my messy shop, and we come down to this uh, GAST continuous use air compressor. This is kind of a weird air compressor. I have a couple of these laying around the shop. Um, what these are is they are uh, industrial air compressors uh, that are made for continuous use. Um, a lot of times they are used in uh, aeration of ponds and stuff like that because they're, like I said, continuous use. They're made to be run all the time um, and they don't overheat. They're, they're super, super reliable. This compressor had an MSRP of like 400 something bucks. Crazy amount of money for this thing. Um, the reason I have them, I've got a couple of them, like I said, is there was a, a local photography business uh, photo processing plant that um, was updating their inventory and doing some stuff like that. They actually use these. There's a pedal over there for it um, to turn it on and off. They actually use these for uh, blowing air off of uh, uh, negatives and stuff like that to to get or sorry blowing dust off the negatives to uh, to get them ready for photo processing. Anyway, the way this guy works is you press the, uh, the pedal over here. And he turns on. This compressor by itself will get to about 75 psi uh, if you you know just let it run. That's about its max uh, psi. So anyway, runs up the coiled hose, runs into the input side of the compressor, 
uh, charges the compressor more or less. I think it's probably about 20 PSI is what it charges it to. And just having that 20 PSI pre-charge um, will make this compressor be able to pump up to at least 600. Um, the two gauges I have on my bottle are just rated at 600 and they, they go past it, but I don't want to take them too far past. I don't want to damage the gauges. Um, and in fact, I will show you those now. I just filled this tank up um, from 200 PSI and it took about, mm, I don't know, eight minutes probably. Uh, we'll get a view of this. Turn it on. And there we go. We're at 600 as you can see there. And then also I have a massive gauge up here, which was a really cool find uh, at a uh, estate sale. Um, there you can see how big that one is. So that's my main gauge for checking out pressure. But anyway, um, yeah, that's going to be about it for this particular video. Just wanted to show off the compressor a little bit, show you how, how you can do a more or less a do-it-yourself two-stage compressor um, to achieve some higher pressures if uh, that's what you're looking for. So yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed it as per usual. Uh, got any questions, comments, go ahead, feel free to do those. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys, take care.